right, Jenny Wilson. Hey. Uh, I've heard uh, there's going to be some kind of transition. <laughs> there's a transition warning. <laughs> so, something spectacular. So, we've had hula hooping now. So, some preparation is going to be needed. So, uh, anyway, let's give it up for Jenny Wilson. Somebody else, and then like inhabit a different space. And, and you know, and if you could be queen for a day, who would you be? Um, in fact, doing a project for women in the community in Huddersfield about um, who they would be. And, and my answer to that question, of course, was that I would be, if I could be anything, a, a drag queen. And, uh, and, and that's what I wanted to be because they wear like the most outrageous clothes, they have secrets, banging girls, they sing the biggest, great, greatest show tunes. They're utterly fabulous, and, uh, but I couldn't because I was a woman. How could a woman be a drag queen? Well, I went to see this guy, Timberlina, and he did a bit of work with me, um, and uh, the result was that I am, in fact, a drag queen, but that's not what I'm doing right now, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, I, uh, I've become Misty Valentine, it's one of my other Twitter identities, and I perform regularly as Misty, and I know I'm not allowed to pitch because it's better culture, but if you want to see Misty performing in cabaret, <laughs> I'm on in Saltair on the 21st of December, see me afterwards. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I've just been today to Manchester to audition for Britain's Got Talent, so you never know, you might see me on the telly um, at some point in the not too distant future, being Misty Valentine. Oops. did a whole presentation about Misty uh, previous better culture, so I'm not going to say too much more about her because I think really I've kind of almost taken Misty as far as she can go, really. Um, she's performed in cupboards, she's performed on oh, Britain's Got Talent, she's performed all over the place. And uh, she's sort of inspired by Rita off Coronation Street. In a, you know, she was kind of an inspiration and a starting point for creating the character. I'd like to think if Rita was still singing in the clubs today, that she'd look something like Misty Valentine, kind of like, instead of working in the cabin. Um, an obvious choice would be Madame Goo Goo, uh, the auntie of Lady Gaga. That would be a nice place for someone like me to go. Um, but no, actually, I thought maybe I could do something different to that even. Um, <laughs> so I, I thought, well, who else, who else is an interesting woman? And uh, this lady popped up on the television and I thought, ooh, that's an interesting idea. And so uh, I've set myself up with a Twitter identity uh, and I'm going to be Hilary Juve. And uh, if I can manage it in five minutes, I hope that um, you'll be reasonably Please with that. The eyelashes are a really tricky one to put on straight in, the, in a very short space of time, so I might have to just kind of redo them a bit later. And one of the, I went to see Hilary um, when she was on as part of the Oakley Literature Festival in Leeds not too very long ago, uh, and I told her all about what um, what I was doing, and I told her that I was a female drag queen. <laughs> She found all that very interesting. <laughs> she said, you know what, love, you go for it, what you like, you know, if uh, that's what you want to do. <laughs> and we had a good laugh together, me and Hilary. Um, oh, I'm going to give up on the eyelash, it'll do. And, um, yeah, we had a good laugh together about that, and she said, well, of course, you're not the first person who's a uh, person. <laughs> Have you seen Alan Carr? She said, I said, no, I haven't. I've seen him now, I looked it up on YouTube, and uh, she said he's got great legs. Uh, that was all she had really to say about that. <laughs> um, 
so yeah, so I wasn't the first person. She hadn't seen the Harry and Paul one, but you know, getting the hair right is always going to be a bit tricky. Uh, because if you get it wrong, of course, you will end up looking like one of these people. <laughs> or possibly like one of Hillary's truckers. Um, I know that when my teenage son tries on a long wig, he does look rather like a trucker or a roadie or something like that. And um, hopefully this is something akin to Hillary's wig. And then, of course, the other really important thing for achieving the look of Hillary Duray is the shoulder pads. And uh, so I kind of threw this one together on the sewing machine with a few bits of props and stuff. Um, and uh, it's, you know, everyone had shoulder pads in the 80s, and, and Hillary's trying to bring them back. <laughs> and that's it. I'm out. <laughs>